Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Wake has a double, Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Back at Witch's Ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange, dark substance. The same substance Nightingale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away. Okay. Mr. Wake, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time, in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew her weapon. Standing inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time, in the hands of the cult of the tree. Her mind reeled from what the horror story was now claiming about her. Her life, her past, she didn't accept it. She stepped out of the trailer. She needed air, but she wasn't alone. A cultist stared at her from behind a deer mask. She drew a weapon, shouted, ran after him. Wake just gave us a lot of information, but this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. Yes. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. 
They're a part of all this. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? No. <clears throat> Think Saga. The dark place. A dimension that's home to monsters. Huh. Wild stuff. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel.
wasn't able to escape. A dark presence had stopped me. I had seen the title page of another manuscript. Return. I didn't remember writing it, but it felt familiar. Important. I had to find it. I would write a new draft of initiation to reach Parliament Tower using another murder site. Scratch was reaching out from the dark place to get Alice. She was out, but still in danger. forgotten. I knew how this worked now. I could take control, no more surprises. Together with our houseman, the divine old gods of Asgard, we have created something very special. The song is called Herald of Darkness, but I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. Just do what we always do. We'll chat, but instead of talking, we'll sing it. and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up fury and mama gave me a magic clicker well yes i think it's true and fair to say
chilling thrillers of hard-boiled killers became bestsellers. It was all too much. I had to get away.
And maybe they'd be happy once again Just one shot, one more chance For him to save their marriage Away from the city A romantic getaway
I didn't see that coming. A vision. And I thought this place couldn't get any stranger. Mm, champion of light. Catchy, right? Mm, herald of darkness. Lost in the You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. But when this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation.
doesn't make sense. I'm the only one who understands the forces behind this. I can help you. No, no, that's not how this works. You're a civilian, and we don't do right wrongs. And it scratches after you, and so is the cult. We don't know who we can trust here. Damn it, you are making a mistake. Mm -hmm. I'll be sure to add that to the list. Okay, past favorite deer fest floats. Go. The yarn puppet monstrosity. The stuffed moose and squirrels one. No, thank you. Those beady dead marble eyes still give me nightmares. Hello, and welcome to Coffee World, voted Washington's best coffee-themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family-friendly and available to children of all ages, just like our coffee. So, take a sip of Oh Dear Diner Organic Coffee and let the adventure begin! Ed hadn't been the same since his latest show had closed. This wasn't the first time one of his productions had shuttered early. Scathing social commentary in a one-act play wasn't exactly filling seats. When Tammy told him she was taking a research trip to Bright Falls, he decided to tag along. Ed told her he wanted to find inspiration. Really, he just wanted a break from the city. But it was true that he certainly needed to find something. A voice, a direction, an idea something authentic to himself. Ed knew he couldn't keep using Tammy's money to fund his playwriting. After the argument with Tammy, Ed stormed out of the diner and drove their rental car back to Cauldron Lake to prove a point. Now standing in the dark woods, the sun hidden by the trees, Ed wished he could remember what that point was. Something about masculinity. He cursed at himself and turned to go. Suddenly, he was blinded by a light in his face. Voices shouted and hands pushed him to the ground. Ed struggled in vain. Tammy tapped her pen on her notebook. Alan Wake had ridden this same ferry into town when he arrived. This was his entry into Bright Falls his first steps across the threshold. She wrote that down. She always found it helpful to walk in the victim's shoes, do what they did, see what they saw. It added great color to the book. Tammy felt raindrops on her face. God, again? She pulled up her hood. The rain just kept coming. She missed New York. So far, this hadn't been the simple research trip she pictured. First the incident at the lake, then the fight with Ed. It's not surprising tempers got hot. They were both on edge after what had happened. Tammy had said some things, things she regretted. She looked out over the harbor. A chill passed through her. She hoped Ed wouldn't do anything stupid.
Anderson, I, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but... Are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy... The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the Salt Shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. The page placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. <laughs> 